Hi guys, here's a quick packet effect which I think you're going to enjoy. Use uses just four playing cards. They're not regular cards as you'll see in a moment. In fact, most people think we've got four blank cards. There's not. There's three blanks, but one of them happens to have a picture that I've drawn on it. This is, in fact, a tomato or a tomato. We take this and what we're going to do is to do a little juggling act with this because I'm going to take this particular card and put it over here and we're going to throw it to one of these cards here and we'll place these on the table now watch we pick it up we throw it did you see it go you missed it which one did it land on well it's gone from here it's gone from here and it's gone from here it's not on any of these cards here it must be on here and uh, whoops we must have thrown it just a little bit too hard. So here's the revelation and the tutorial for this very simplistic packet effect. This is one of those little packet effects that's so small and compact, it's great just to slip in the wallet, you can perform it at any time, and it's uh, enjoyable to both uh, adults and children. The cards you require are genuinely four cards. And the best thing to do is to purchase some blank faced cards. If you haven't got blank faced cards, you could just use regular cardboard cut out four rectangular shapes and you could then use those in the same way. Now, let's show you what you do on these. You we have a blank face here. We have another blank face, but you do need to draw a picture on here now this is a picture of a tomato okay and you just use some permanent markers just to color in a little picture I guess if you look at one of our previous videos where we printed stuff out to put on cards then you might want to do that but it's just quick and simple to color in and it's more personal uh, on the other one you draw a squashed tomato or as best you can what appears to be a squash tomato now you might come up with other ideas on here I guess you could maybe draw a picture of a an ink bottle and a broken bottle over here something like that that's kind of comical that when you throw it something can break so you might come up with a different drawing in terms of the layout you have this one at the bottom then you have the picture of the squash tomato and then the two blanks on top. Now this trick does require two slides. The Elmsley, I will put a link to the Elmsley count in the description below. So if you've never come across the Elmsley or you're just beginning to learn it, I've got a very simplistic tutorial on performing the Elmsley. Very quick, it's only a couple of minutes long. There's a link in the description below and you can click on that. And the other one you need is a double lift. That's really all you need. So once you've got the cards stacked, you can pull these out of your pocket. There they are, the four cards. You can show them because there are genuinely four cards. When you flip these over, you're going to perform an Elmsley count to make it appear as you've got three blanks and one with a picture on. So as we go through and we do an Elmsley count, I always push the picture on forward slightly and grab this. Now that gets me in a perfect position because as I pull this out, I've already got a break here because I'm going to do a double lift in a minute. You bring this over, you've shown three blanks. There's nothing suspicious at this point. You then square the cards and you've already got a break here. So it's very easy for you to come over and just lift off two cards as one. So I have two cards here. You lift two cards as one and you say, look, I tell you what, we're gonna do a bit of a juggling act with this card. Now what I do with this is I flip these cards over. Now they believe they're three blanks, but they're actually only two and it's got the squashed tomato behind. I flip the cards over and then I flip this over, I just clip it with a thumb and say we'll do a juggling act with these, flip them over and you appear to deal the tomato onto the table. In fact it's a blank. Now there is one other slight that 
I come to in a moment, well, it's not really a slight, but it's a handling technique. But we need to lay these down as well. Now, the next one you put down, if you like, you can flash the bottom and then deal with this down because this has the genuine picture of the tomato on it. It's not necessary. People have seen you put that down there. They don't know what's coming next, so they believe these to be blank. But if you want to, in some manner, flash that, put that down. I then sometimes flash this again. This time, I want to put this top card, not here, but here. So all I do is I flash and my fingers are just going to pull out the bottom card and casually do this. That's it. Basically, you've got the squashed picture over here. That's the layout. Have a play around with how you lay these out. Everyone does it differently. That suits me, but you might come up with an alternative way, maybe incorporate a frustration count or something along those lines. Now, the heat is off at this point because people who expect that to be the tomato, you mimic picking this up, throwing it across the table. When you turn this over, they're surprised straight away that the picture's blank, that the tomato's gone. Now, this is where you have to do a kind of handling. I'm not quite sure what the name of this is. slipped my mind at the moment. I'll put it in the description. But what you're gonna do is to do a switch. This is a really clever switch. I'm sure you've come across this before. But I need to show this again as this card. What you do, you're apparently using this to flip this over like that. That's what you're apparently doing. But what you do, if you just put your finger on here, as this comes under, watch my thumb. It's going to grip this and then with my fingers underneath, I'm just going to flip this card over. It's a switch or turnover switch something like that but i will put who, whoever invented this in the description below that's it it's a great move and i'm sure some of you will put in the comments what the name of that turnover switch is called and who by let me show you that again there is the blank i come over i'm going to use this to apparently flip it over but as i come here my thumb will grip the top of this my fingers are going to flip this over like that. Now, when you do it yourself in front of a mirror, it doesn't look too convincing. But to the lay person, it's such a natural move. They really believe you've used this card to flip it over on there. I know if you're a skilled magician, you would have spotted this as soon as I performed it earlier on. But... That's how it looks on there. Once more, so you say, uh, we, it's gone. It's gone from here and it's gone from here. You then use this to scoop up and clip it to the bottom because you want to flash these. Now, the reason when I drew this picture here, I didn't go right to the edges is because it gives me a bit of breathing room on the edges so that when I spread these cards slightly, it looks more convincing that they're both blank you're not revealing any of the image this one here is blank anyway but keep it consistent don't do this actually do exactly as you did here use these two cards to flip this over but do a genuine flip over that's that and you clip this underneath again don't keep them squared so keep it a little bit haphazard as you turn this over this all looks clean now, the great thing about this particular trick, I can put these down. They think that that's the picture of the tomato. What is the real kicker in this effect is when you flip this over and you go, and the tomato is, whoops, there it is there, it's squashed. Now, the veterans among you would have seen this many, many years ago. I think the first time I saw this performed was at Hamley's Toy Store in Oxford Street in London, and that would have been roughly about 72, 1973. So it's, it's not a new trick, it's been around for many years, and you may have seen it with other pictures, but this one's quite nice with the tomatoes on there. So have a go at making that up. As I say, it's a great little packet effect, the squashed 
tomato. Practice and enjoy. <laughs>